Hey everyone, Denny Does here. Today I want to give a quick update on the Helix Metaverse. Let's take a look at their recent post on Twitter. Q1 2023 will be massive for Helix and the blockchain gaming community. Alpha 2.0 is on the horizon. Let's dive in. For context, Helix is an open world blockchain game that takes place in Parallel City, a 1-1 recreation of New York City. And we mean it. Check out our interactive map here. For some reason, if you click on this link, it, it doesn't work. At least it doesn't work for me. It takes me to a broken page. I already have the land map pulled up, so let's take a look at it. At first glance, you can tell it's all of Manhattan Island. It also shows all the different gangs that you can join if you're a part of Helix and where those gang territories are located. If you click on a building, it gives you the details on the right hand side. It shows the location, the tier, and any other special details about it. If you want to take a closer look at this building or perhaps purchase it, you can click on this link and view it on OpenSea. Helix has a verified collection on OpenSea. I'll post the link below. If you go to their main page, you can see all of their listed current drops. There's the Founders Pass, the 1959 Archipelago Cruise Master, Helix Mystery Cars, and the recent Parallel City Land Drop. Helix has been in development for over two years by talents from Rockstar, Activision, and Ubisoft. Helix is backed by Hypersonic Laboratories, which raised $3.5 million in pre-seed round led by Play Ventures and Sansom Next. You can then click on the article to read more about it. Los Angeles, California, September 14th, 2022. Hypersonic Laboratories, the startup behind Helix, a high-fidelity open-world metaverse platform, has raised $3.5 million in pre-seed round led by Play Ventures. The raise comes just prior to Helix's highly anticipated launch of the Founders Pass in September. Let's take a closer look at Play Ventures, the leading early stage gaming VC. Let's go to their portfolio. The world's biggest little gaming venture capitalist. Since launching Play Ventures in December 2018, we've invested in a diverse portfolio of gaming teams all over the world. Let's take a look at some of these games. If we go to this article posted in September 2022, we can see the top 10 gaming venture capitalist investors. If we look at this list, you can see that Play Ventures is number three on the list. Founded in 2018, the total fund size is 144.9 million. Now let's take a look at Samsung Next, another one of Helix's early investors. Our portfolio reflects our team's dedication to shaping the future. If you scroll through their blockchain portfolio, you might recognize some of the names. Some of the notable ones to mention are Axie Infinity, Board Ape Yacht Club, Dapper, The Sandbox, and Ready Player Me. Helix then goes on to say, The current state of blockchain gaming has Ponzi-nomic token economic systems. They're not fun. The primary purpose to playing them is monetary. They're unrealistic. They have a high barrier to entry, and they're unsustainable. Helix aims to take a fun-first approach while building our hyper-realistic metaverse. We recently became one of the first realistic blockchain games to showcase our game to holders. And that was just 1% of our capabilities. And as you can see here, Helix posted a short video clip from Alpha 1. Let's take a look at it. All right, let's move on. Alpha 2.0 is coming in February. Helix will become one of the first blockchain games to provide landowners with immediate functionality and utility. Holders can expect the 100K tournament with over three brand new game modes. If you're a member of the Helix Discord channel, their developers often post sneak peeks of future game modes and releases. Let's take a look at some of these screenshots from future game releases.
Along with the launch of our addicting and fun Alpha 2.0, the claiming website will also go live. The days of airdrops with no utility are over. All claims are playable in-game assets that will never be released again. I also have a sneak peek at the claiming website. I'm sure it will change by the time it goes live, but let's take a look at that now. Founder Pass and Landholders. After two years of 18 plus hour development days and rigorous planning, our goal will always be to provide for our earliest supporters as we pivot to a public game. Holders will continually receive exclusive in-game assets and other surprises. Helix will foster a fun-first environment, assuring that role-playing communities have a safe place that is powered by the blockchain. User-generated content and creativity will help sustain our ecosystem as we onboard hundreds of thousands of players. Web 2 Implications Helix's realistic and immersive metaverse allows for the onboarding of Web 2 companies and brands. We are excited to show you how we can bring Web 2 brands to life in the metaverse. As we embark on the next journey of embracing a larger community, we are excited for our current holders to access exclusive rewards and to have true digital ownership of Parallel City. We have a few tricks up our sleeve. But what happens to holders when the game goes public? Well, current holder assets will never be released again to the public. Along with holders being grandfathered in to any slash all Helix drops in the future. We are incredibly excited to showcase our dedication to you. We are here to build. We imagine an ecosystem that is fun with no barrier to entry and powered by the blockchain. Everyone in blockchain gaming says this, we know. This is why the days of broken promises are over and we cannot wait to show you what two years of work has produced. We have a manifold of surprises and events planned going into February. All we gotta say is, Founders Pass and Land is the key to Redacted. Bah, bah, bah. What is Redacted? Uh, I have some thoughts about that. Uh, I'll share that in a second. Thank you all for your support and to everyone who is a participant in our ecosystem. Your appreciation never goes unrecognized. See you in Parallel City. All right, well that covers our latest Twitter thread. Now, Bom, bom, bom. What is redacted? Well, I think one of the redacted things is information about the Lix token. The Lix token is supposed to power the Helix metaverse. Not a lot of details are released about it yet. But if I go to Etherscan, I can see there is a Helix ERC20 Lix token already created. It is not in circulation. There is no value to it, but it is there. So I think in the month of February, we'll start to find out more details about redacted Lix Helix token. Another page that I like to follow and I'll leave the link below is this nice dashboard. It gives all the recent sales and holder information. This dashboard also showcases how many founder pass holders are from other communities. As you can see, there's 301 goblin owners that own 586 founder passes. 257 Illuminati owners own 456 Founders Passes. If you scroll down, we got Quirky's owners, Playboy Ravatar owners, Pudgy Penguins owners, there's Board 8 Yacht Club owners. Now if you keep scrolling down, you can see that there's a lot of blue chip mutual collection holders. I already mentioned Goblin Town, Illuminati, Quirky's, uh, there's Mutant Ape Yacht Club, uh, Clone X, Cool Cats, Three Landers, Sandbox, Board Ape Kennel Club, Moonbirds, Deadfellas, Doodles, Invisible Friends. The list goes on. Alright, well I believe that's all I have for now. See you in the next update.